I'm sure you've heard this before, but I think this time it's for real. The FDA is actually coming down on supplement companies and they're uh, threatening the ones that use DMAA. Dark Lab recently announced their new crack pre-workout and this new crack version doesn't have any DMAA. In fact, it has DMHA, but who knows how it actually works until you actually try it. So don't judge it. I did see the announcement on Instagram on the Dark Lab's official page and I was thinking, I better bring some popcorn because the comment section is going to be interesting. As expected, there's some negative comments and the, the whole fear is that DMAA is no longer being uh, included in pre-workouts. And it seems to be the case that right now it is widely available and you can get some pre-workouts that have DMAA in it. So if you are interested in this type of pre-workout, listen in because I am going to give you the ones that are available right now and i do keep an updated list on my site fitfreak.com and the list is updated with the stores that have the latest stock in these types of pre-workouts so if you are looking for a hardcore pre-workout here's the list the first one is crack og this one is a dmaa nitrate type of formula that means you're gonna get some crazy ass energy you're gonna get some nice pumps as well without those side effects that dmaa provides some of those side effects are like high blood pressure uh, cardiovascular symptoms like heart uh, fast heart rate and all this but despite using a high dosage of dmaa how many a's am i putting in dmaa I, i'm trying to make sure there's 120 milligrams now typically traditionally we always believe that dmaa shouldn't be dosed higher than 70 milligrams otherwise you do have that elevated risk for heart for cardiovascular problems heart rate problems and uh, elevated blood pressure these kind of symptoms do happen when you're taking a lot of stimulants, so it's not uncommon to see that. But Dark Labs thought outside the box and put DMAA with uh, high dosages of nitrates. Now the, the nitrates are actually a smart play because the nitrates actually increase the blood flow and increase vasodilation, thus reducing the impact that it takes, uh, that it gives on your heart, at least theoretically, and, uh, and at least in my experience, that does seem to be the case because the next pre-workout actually gives some nasty, dirty energy, but it still has DMAA as far as I know. Global Supreme. Now there is a review video on this. You can click here or here to watch the review. But basically this pre-workout has DMAA and DMHA. It's kind of like a mini crack gold, but the problem with it is that it doesn't have that much nitric oxide boosters in it. So you're going to notice some side effects. I did notice some and I didn't feel that good, but when I did take it with a strong nitric oxide booster, I combined both and I felt a lot better. And I'm 100% sure it's because of the visodilation that's decreased and the, in the visoconstriction that happens with DMAA. So it's not uncommon, right? So if you do take uh, this type of pre-workout, it does help to have a nitric oxide booster, a strong one. Uh, the one I took was PIMP by Dark Labs, that's PIMP. You can see the review video here. But basically, you do want to take something like Agmatine, Citrulline at least. You can make it even better and less, um, less risky for side effects if you, you do use nitrate-based uh, ingredients, which I found to help better than just the traditional nitric oxide boosters like Citrulline and Agmatine. So the next pre-workout is a controversial one. Um, some people believe there isn't DMAA in it but it still gives some very high clean energy and that's wildfire. Wildfire is by SoCal Labs or uh, SoCal and it is a fantastic pre-workout. You can see in my review video here, but basically I didn't really feel that DMAA, but it's still one of the highest energy pre-workouts I've ever had. It's very clean energy. The balance with smoothness and energy is just perfect. There's no jitteriness, there's no anxiety. So when you are taking it, you will feel like a nice, clean, wild ride, not wild, but like a straight ride of nice mood elevation and nice energy without that, you know, dirty energy feeling that, um, that can happen with high stem pre-workouts. So the next pre-workout is Crack Gold. This one is like global supremacy, but I didn't notice the side effects as badly. So you don't really need to stack it with a nitric oxide booster. It does work quite well on its own. But Crack Gold is basically the stim junkie formula with DMHA and DMAA. There is high energy and it's not for beginners. If you are an advanced user, even then, like you want to use it not 
every day, but like on, on occasion, whenever you really need that high energy to break your PR, to break your high, your heavyweight kind of working sets, not when you're deloading or taking your time in the gym. Crack Gold, uh, it's still available, but not as available as Crack OG. Now the last pre-workout is uh, Hero Lean by Dark Labs. This is another pre-workout coming from Dark Labs, but again, who knows if Dark Labs will discontinue DMAA. There's no telling, but of course, if this stimulant does seem to be in danger. So if you are uh, looking to try DMAA in pre-workouts, I think this is the opportunity, this is the time to do it. And uh, that's why I'm kind of like, I'm in a rush to put this video out because I do realize FDA is, I mean, they are kind of predictable. They've gone through courts and they've gone through lawsuits with DMAA. If you look at high-tech pharmaceuticals, they're one of those companies that are fighting FDA hard, I mean, the FDA hard about a DMAA. And in fact, they took them all the way to the Supreme Court, but this was years ago and it's still available today. So we are expecting, you know, FDA to step up their game when it comes to regulating these types of banned stimulants that shouldn't be on the market in the first place for human consumption but it is available and if you want to look at the legality of dmaa i do have a full article on my website on fitfreak.com you can see the link uh, in the description or if you just head to the uh, to fitfreak.com but if you head to fitfreak.com and you search dmaa and the keyword you're looking for legality uh, dosages safety i've got all kinds of guides on fitfreak.com but Herolean is kind of a very high anxiety type of pre-workout. So if you don't like your hembine, you might want to stay away from Herolean because Herolean is super strong with your hembine. It has a high dosage of your hembine. And we're talking about like 12 milligrams. Typically, high stem pre-workouts will not have more than 5 milligrams. Herolean kicks the limit up with high your hembine. So if you are sensitive to your hembine, you're sensitive to side effects or pre-workouts that give you know dirty energy, high energy, then you want to be careful with Herolean. Uh, this is not the pre-workout that you want to take, you know, as a first pre-workout. This is a pre-workout for advanced users. And even then, there are side effects. It's normal to have these side effects. That's why you should use these pre-workouts wisely. Not every day, not when you need to wake up, not on a routinely type of basis. But anyway, uh, there is one more source of DMAA, but it's kind of... Um, it sounds like it's on and off because some people say that they get bonked, uh, like they get the, the bulk powder and it's not really DMAA or they don't feel anything or they do feel something and it's very good. So it's kind of a risk. Um, if you do get it, I mean, you can get it from bulkstimulants.com. They do have DMAA, but as far as I know, they are legit and I've talked to other reviewers, but they have said the same thing. Like they did get good DMAA and they don't, uh, it seems like they don't intend to give, you know, bad DMA. So maybe it's a normal thing to have a bad batch and they didn't know about it. If you think about it, that would make sense. Maybe they're not testing, you know, every batch. So it's a risk. Um, you do want to make sure, you know, you're willing to take that risk that you may get bunk uh, DMA. But if you do, then you can contact the customer service and they're usually very good with communication, at least from what I've heard. So try bulkstimulants.com if you want to get DMAA. But as far as stimulants go, you're not missing anything much if DMAA goes off the market. But if you are looking for like the strongest pre-workouts, you can click the link here on my website. There's some lists on there for pre-workouts. But remember, all this is coming from your mind. It doesn't matter if your pre-workout has DMAA or not because a lot of your energy is going to come from your mind. And not all the time you're going to have a high energy. Not every workout, not every week. You're going to have weeks where you just feel weak, drained, and you need to recover. That's normal. That's a, that's a periodization thing that comes on for all athletes, for all bodybuilders. They're, on, they're in the gym and the graph for intensity, volume and sets and all this is on a graph. If you look at how much work they do, it varies every week. Uh, and some, they have like cycles of 8 to 12 weeks. So if you've been training really hard for the past you know, more than 12 weeks, then it's time for a break. If you're training hard, like every week, it's time for a break. Your recovery matters. Uh, if you are recovered, you'll be stronger and you will feel really good mentally because exercises do have an effect on you when you are doing them. Like your whole body takes damage. We're talking about your central nervous system. That's why when you do heavy squats, when you do heavy deadlifts, 
the next day you are kind of drained and you may elevate that with a pre-workout or with some strong pre workout or with some strong coffee whatever you're just delaying the effects of recovery you're, del you're building up sleep debt which is very normal with caffeine because it does have a long half-life if you take it at 12 p.m it'll still be at, in your body some of it at 12 a.m so that's a very long time with caffeine in your body especially when you're taking very high dosages of stimulants and they all work in synergy so that's why i'm saying take it slow don't take it slow but have waves of intensity don't expect yourself to push yourself every time don't be so hard on yourself but try to improve yourself try to become the better version of your past self i know i'm going off on a rant but i believe some pre some people who are looking for pre-workouts are looking for motivation and i think i'm very good with motivation you know i can work out without pre-workouts and i will still drive myself the hardest i will still go through those pain periods i will still try to push past it no matter what supplement i take or don't take I'm always pushing myself and I'm always trying to reach within me to build that energy up, to breathe that oxygen in and push myself for the next rep and I'm concentrated on the next rep. And in between those sets, I'm not looking at my phone, I'm standing, I'm looking and I'm thinking about my next set. You're always visualizing, right? When you're working out, before, after, during your exercise, focus. It is all about that focus. So please, work out hard pre-workout DMAA or not find it within you we find it within you if you find that it helps then if you want to increase your gains then try hitting that little button in the corner in the corner right here or this side I don't know which side it's on but <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you have a great day work out hard and let me know if you have any questions if there's any videos I can make for you and I will do it